So after many trials and issues of getting back to where I was, our lonely warden has become something better. He has become a commander. <laughs> I'm able to put the armor on now. I shifted some points around because I had to re-level up all the way back from Haven after yesterday's recording session. Uh, so I have put my stuff into strength, and this is pretty much as far as I need to go with strength. I might put one more into just to even it out at 40. But here we are. We are back. Back here. And we are ready to move forward with new DLC and new stuff like that. And I have a steel function and all that crap, so I'm good to go. But I want to talk to Riordan here. Hello again, friend. It looks as though you're no worse for wear after your stay in Fort Draken. All right. Let's see. Let's uh learn about the Grey Wardens. Well, I'd be happy to tell you what I know, but it seems to me that you've picked the important parts like what? yourself. Be firm in your beliefs, protect people from their own ignorance, and be as loyal as you can to your brothers, even knowing your share. Wow, that's uh that's nice. Once on Lee, and I'd rather. <laughs> it's far, lad, and very foreign. The wardens there, they fight dark spawn like you and me, but they're shaped by the winters there in the forest. They're a cold group and don't care like they should about the rest of the world. Their king is weak, and many Anders look to the wardens oh. to rule. Okay. I hate to say this, but some of them seem to want it. All right. It was near 1,200 years ago, and no one knows for sure, except that it began with a group of Ander soldiers. Apparently, they defected from their king's army, vowing that fighting the Blight was more important, and traveled all the way to Tevinter. Well, you guys are badass. They were the first ones to track down the Archdemon Dumat, and the ones to slay him, although none well, survived sucks. the battle. But they had picked up followers by then, and it was they who formally founded the Order. And were recognized by Thedas. It's tough to say. Only the fortress in Weishaupt has every record. But there are certainly a few dozen or hundreds in every nation oh, in Thedas. Okay. The Anderfels are home to oh, a thousand. It's almost like the Archdemon chose Ferelden deliberately, knowing how. Oh, well, they're not it stupid. Is. Archdemons don't awaken on their own, you know. It takes the dark spawn. Tunneling and tunneling, searching for centuries to find one. And with no one to lead them, it must be sheer chance, or maybe instinct, which leads them. What's surprising isn't that it takes so long between blights. What's surprising is that they succeed at all. But I imagine the old gods call to them. And it's that voice in the darkness which drives them through so many huh. generations. That's very interesting. The important thing to remember is, none of that matters. When you're facing Darkspawn, all you need to know is to stop them at all costs. Sounds accurate. Hello again, friend. It looks as it's located just up I know where that is. District in the north. I'll sketch out the code which will let you pass the lock wheel. Sketch it out. Inside, you can take your pick of whatever equipment remains. It is the stockpile the Wardens have kept for centuries for the defense of Denerim. We went through our journey wow. together more years ago than I like to remember. He was exactly the same back then. Tough as stone and just... We aged pretty well then. I think he understood sooner than the rest of us how ugly a choice it is to let the few be sacrificed to protect the many. Always left himself a soft spot for his recruits though. Only way he ever let himself down. When I'm well enough, I'm going to continue my journey toward Ostagar. Hopefully I'll be able to trace the heart of the Blight and where the Archdemon itself abides. If we want to defeat this Archdemon, we need to know where it is and how soon it might strike. That's a good point. If there were more of us, I would agree. But as it is, I don't think we can deprive all the armies you've gathered of a commander. Good luck to you. All right, so we've talked to Riordan, and there are some stuff I need to take a care of. We have choices now, thanks to DLC. And I am so much... Oh, I have to talk to an orc, too. Shit. But I am much more interested in the DLC than I am anything else, so... 
yeah, I've done all the dinner room stuff before, but I have not done the DLC stuff. So let's take a save here. Yeah, I actually added like an hour or two. Let's talk to Honora. Hi. Hello again, Warden. It is good what you, you want a bone? With me. <laughs> First, let me say that I Thanks. knew your family. Eleanor, in particular, was dear to me. And what Howe did was unforgivable. How Technically, I think Morgan killed him. Hands. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. My father must be stopped. But once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. No? You're a Grey Warden, and despite the fact that my father will paint himself as the only one who can protect the country from the Accurate. blight, it is not so. Secondly, you saved Arl Eamon from a plot that no doubt had its origins in Hal's sick little mind. People will not forget that. You are competent and powerful, and in the right place at the right time. Used to your advantage, these things could bring you far. That is exactly like what I'm proposing. <laughs> when the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain huh. on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy, yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey All right. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. Ignoring that the man looks so oh. much like Kalen. I know. Husband, I met him. My main fear is that he might govern like Kalen as well. But it is true that Alistair has their own blood. To some, this is more important even than practical Some people are stupid, but... A union might be considered a compromise, but... Is this something Alistair even desires? Let me say this. If Alistair is willing to stand back and allow me to continue governing the nation, then I would be willing to have him as my king. It is my understanding that governing does not appeal to him anyhow. If that is so, this is a compromise I can live with. All right. Do so. I will be interested to hear. I will be to too. Say. But first. Haha. -ha. Yeah. I'm enjoying stealing from people. It's awesome. Um Excuse me. The Lady Queen has summoned me to see <laughs> Okay. Well, not much. Just may I air that for you, my lady? I beg your pardon. Her unmentionables. How the hell did I get over here? No wonder it had to load. It took me back to a different area. That was weird, wasn't it? Honora, hello. Erlina, hello. Success. My lady, she will be forever. Oh, I hope she is. Because I could use some bootay. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm ridiculous. My accents are atrocious. Yeah, I know. Just deal with it, guys. So I'm guessing someone told Honora I was planning to steal her throne. She has no, that's not what I said. Prayer. Did anyone mention this wasn't my idea? I think she's a great queen. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome to it. Really? <laughs> Whatever would give you that idea? Well, it's nice that you... You, think, you think I'm hitting on you? What do you think I should do? Go ahead and be king? Just to let it happen? Marry her? As no, in as in broccoli. Marriage, as in no, as in be a wife. You've spoken to her about this? You no! Why would you do that? Did you take a blow to the head? I am That's crazy. crazy. Um... Yes, yes, I suppose you're right. The Landsmeet will probably see that too. Go ahead then. Tell her I'll do it if it comes to that. Now, excuse me while I go have a small heart attack somewhere. No big deal, right? 
Sorry. I Wait, you approved of that? What are you talking about, sir? Why did you glide around that corner? Anyway, he approved. What? What? Well, have you spoken my lucky betrothed yet? Or will we be reduced? You should pass to notes months? anyway. He has? I wasn't expecting that. It looks like he needs somebody to... To marry Kaylin's brother. Well, I suppose stranger things have happened. What's she doing with her fingers? If it will truly help matters... Is this it, then? I agree to marry Alistair, to retain my throne, and in exchange I give you my support. If not... That's exactly how it now. is. Done. So, we have a deal, Warden. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing yeah, with... Yeah, that's the hard part. That will be no small feat, of course. But I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else uh, you need from me? Do you have anything you want to give me? I... No. And while I know your concern is hardly disinterested, still... Thank you. We could be boning. <laughs> no, I'm not big on uh, that. I'm not a big fan of her, honestly. She is not for me. The one, the person I want over there. Anyway, we are going to be moving forward and maybe finding something else to do. Arl Eamon, Alistair. I haven't been here in a while. No, Bethan, you're good, sir. Warden, let me know if there's any assistance I can give you. My hero. <laughs> I could swear you just said that Alistair and Anora agreed to marry. Uh. I pleased would hardly <laughs> describe it. Shocked. I'm shocked. If you had come in here and told me they'd both sprouted wings and flown to the <laughs> I would be less stunned. I like him. This alliance can only help. Well done. I should. I can be very persuasive. We need to do all that we. But that, that was hilarious. I Arl Ema is one of my favorite characters for some of his responses. Uh, like NPC type characters. He's he's hilarious, and I like Ban Tegan or Bon Tegan, however you pronounce his name, for his little dances and stuff that he was doing. I love it. It's awesome. I need to take you with me. Yes. Um. I will grab Morgan. And Indeed. I will grab ba ba da da ba, a blue a ba di ba ba die. I don't know the real words of that song. Um, where am I going? Let's grab win. Yes. Those who survive the dark spawn taint eventually become ghouls. Their minds corrupted and twisted to seek out and serve the dark spawn. What? But we're what? <laughs> Only if you drink the taint. <laughs> drink the taint. Every time I say that word, I can't help but start laughing. Win has a level up. I don't know. I just think the word taint is funny. Alright. Morgan is all the way up. And Alistair needs to be pushed up a little bit more. Push it up. Alright. Barrels of fun. Gorim. Dwarven crafts. Fine Dwarven Ass. I haven't done those yet. I need to check those out. I am looking for a warehouse. <laughs> hey, I made a penis with the wave in the audio. <laughs> Even though I already knew. I won't take the blame for this one. This was... I won't take the blame... Why are you in here? Thanks. I ain't sticking around to see how this goes. Good, out. now leave, because this is secret stuff. Get the fuck out. Move! Aha! There's a metal door behind here. Let's start on the side. A longbow. Don't need it. A griffin's helm. Map of the Anderfells. Splint metal. Heavy plate metal. Uh, journeyman cold iron. Uh, inventory's full. Okay. Um, weapon rack. Axe of the gray. Armor stand. Duncan shield. I need to pick that up. 
Um, where is my inventory? I don't know what I was doing there. Um, throw away this crap because I don't need it. Get rid of the fire crystal and the frost spirit shard. Get rid of the toxin extra. What the fuck? I don't. Don't ask. I'm a little out of it. But that's normal as usual. And I'll pick up this. And I'll pick up all of this. And I think there was one thing in here. And I'll pick it up at two. And. And I, I need to stop singing because that was really scratchy sounding for one. Number two, I can't sing worth a piss. Alistair, Alistair, give you Duncan's shield. This, this shield, it's Duncan's, isn't it? That's his crest. Thank you. Truly, I had no idea his shield wasn't with him. Perfect. This is perfect. I, I don't know how else to express my gratitude. This means a great deal to me. I can't believe of course. you this at all. I'll treasure this. You're welcome. Thank you. I mean, you are like my best friend here. Like, seriously, Alistair. Come on. Be awesome. Did you equip it? Yep, I'm pretty sure that's Duncan's. Alright. No, he, he equipped it, I'm assuming. Yep, there it is. Equipped and everything. Alright, well, there you go, Alistair. How do you enjoy that? Look, before we go any further, I'd All like right. to say something. I appreciate that you brought me to see my sister. And that you, well, that you were there to talk me down after we left. You're a true friend. I just wanted to tell you that. Well, now that that's out of the way, I ask away. All right, there we go. Let's see how much he loves me now. Oh, look at that. He's all up in it. All right. Well, he's good. Um, I need to take a break. So, yeah, I'll be back for another episode shortly. My, I just started having some stomach problems, so I'll be back in the next episode. This was just normal length episode. Sorry, I didn't do much, and I wasn't expecting my stomach to start hurting. Uh, so, yeah. I will pause this here, and I'll catch you then, guys. So, thanks for watching. See you soon. Peace out.